Well, hello, it's Rektar, and I am back in the world of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Horrible, horrible things have happened. Uh, Zelda, in the last episode, apparently gave her life to save Midna from the terrible condition that she was now in, but as you can see, Midna's prediction that Zelda would be able to help me unwolf myself was false, but Zelda did give me a chunk of information that can lead me to finding a way to not be a wolf anymore. She said something about heading deep into the sanctuary of where the spirit of Farron lies, and she said that we would be able to find the blade that banishes evil, the Master Sword there. And so I have come now to Farron Woods in hopes of retrieving the Master Sword for myself, but... The trouble is, I don't know- actually, I do know where I'm supposed to be going. I was like, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, but I remember the trickiness. Now that I'm a wolf, there's a place that I could not go before, and it resides here in the far end of Farron Woods. It's like deep in the sanctuary where the temple was. I can actually now head to a place that I can only jump to. And so before, obviously, there was nothing I could do there because I was limited to my non-jumping human body, but now that I've got a sweet wolf body that can jump great distances, you know, the wolf may not be able to use all the sweet weapons that I've, uh, that I've gathered for myself, but if there's one thing the wolf definitely can do... Oh, is this not... Oh no, is this not a place that I can jump with Midna? I thought there was some Midna jumping that was available to me here, and in fact... I believed that, that was the only way to get through the forest, but apparently now I'm confuzzled. I need to get through here. I need to get through here quite badly, in fact. Where's the wolf jumping? Oh, here we go. I was like, dude, that doesn't look like a very safe place to jump at all. I've actually already jumped through this whole place, so I might just be able to... Oh, there's... No, screw it. I was about to say, so I guess I could cut this out, but... The game purposely slaps your first... Oh, I accidentally hit the wrong buttons. The game slaps your first Poe right here to show you... I, I'm sure they purposely slap this here and put it right in your way just so you're like, oh, hey, this is what the king of gold... I'm, I don't know that guy's name. Oh, he's Giovanni. And it was, I was like, what is that dude's name? I wanted to call him the king of gold because he clearly is a very kingly type of dude and he is made of gold, but his name is totally not the King of Gold. His name is totally Giovanni, but yeah. He, in the last episode, taught me the secrets. Oh, you gotta go you gotta go quick here before whew, all those dudes get you. But yeah, Giovanni asked that I kill a bunch of Poes in order to save his spirit or some shit like that, and I will gladly do so, because as in any Zelda game, you can probably assume that there's rewards. You're not just doing stuff for free in Zelda games. People pay you in the Nectar of the Gods. Actually, they do not pay you in the Nectar of the Gods, but they do pay you with stuff. I can't buy anything. Real. Actually, I probably could, but here we go. Oh, the monkey's gonna show me that I need- I was like, I could figure it out for myself, but the monkey apparently needs to show me that jumping is what? What crazy demon beasts are these? These weren't things before. Got kind of creepy faces. Dude, check it out. We're gonna... Oh. Oh, if it... We'll get them all at once. Even though I don't think I have to get them all at once. I will. Just to show this monkey that I'm a total badass. Wolves ain't afraid of no pack of crazy-faced dudes. Thank you. Listen, since you're so nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of the cliff. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper into the woods, those guys attacked me. What's in those woods, anyway? Well, it's time to find out using the power of the wolf. So, here's another section for us beyond the cliff. All right, Raktar, let's go. Jumpy Wumpy. Away we go with the help of... Oh, I don't know why I demon sensed. I don't know why I called that demon sensing. Dude, I would like to... I'm not sure if Giovanni in this game... So, in previous games, um, you get, like, rewards as you go. I don't remember if you get a reward. I want... Oh, whatever. I wanted that... Is this thing gonna change again? Because it would really be good for me if this... I was wondering the, about Giovanni if... Oh, okay, it does. 
I was wondering if he'll give you rewards along the way, or if you have to... Oh, crap. I realize what's happening now. Or if you have to get him all 20 pose to get his reward, which would kind of think... Oh! <gasps> but who cares about that right now? Because... Oh, this is the... Alright, cool. We got this one. There we go. That should totally be it. I don't know why. I was having some trouble. I haven't had to howl in a while, so I guess I was down on my howling mechanics. I don't remember the name of that song. Oh, it's the Prelude of Light. I was like, I should know what that song is. But I was like, I know that the the spirit is the Requiem of Spirit. And I was like, there's the Nocturne of Shadow. There's the Minuet of Forest. The Serenade of Water. The Bolero of Fire. But I was like, what's the one that takes you to the Temple of Time? And then it finally dawned on me. It's a prelude. I had to think of many different names of types of songs. But now I know. That's the Prelude of Light. Of course, they're not going to call it that because they never name any of the songs in this game. But now we get to find out where I'm going to get my next move on the map. Please show me, Wolf. Where will my next move come from? Or maybe don't show me. I thought it marked it on the map. Automatic. No, it will. There we go. Ooh, it's on the river. However will I get there? I suppose I'll find out when the time comes. But the time has not yet come because I don't have sword in hand. And the wolf clearly has stated that for me to be able to do what it wants me to do, I have to meet him with sword in hand. Which is not gonna ha- ooh. Is this a wolf dungeon? I doubt it. It's the Sacred Grove. Home of the Master Sword. Hasn't always been the home of the Master Sword, you know. Traditionally, the home of the Master Sword is the temple- what? What? Oh! They're teaching me a howl? Oh, okay, I know this how. Oh, but I did it wrong. There we go, that, sh that was right. No, I guess it wasn't. That's Zelda's lullaby for sure. But... It's not registering? Oh, there we go. I was like, I played basically the same thing. I guess it was just a little bit off. I wonder what doing this will do. I forgot that there was places in the game... Oh, I'll probably just open a door. I forgot that there was places in the game where you had to howl other than the spots... Where, um... Other than the spots where you got your special moves unlocked. But apparently there are, and... <gasps> it gets me a skull... Oh my gosh! Why are skull kids so creepy? Oh, I totally... Oh, he's the one that's summoning- Oh, What a jerk! It's the Skull Kid that's summoning dudes to battle me! Except for this isn't- This isn't Skull Kid. Skull Kid is- I shouldn't call him Skull Kid because I know for a fact that Skull Kid is actually a specific character in the Zelda universe. So it's really a misnomer for me to call him Skull Kid when in reality he's just a- Oh, oh my gosh, he's- Summoning more dudes to kill me. Well, guess what? Good, good riddance to your dudes, not Skull Kid, because I've got the moves to take him down. Now, I remember this is this game's version of the Lost Woods. You gotta. I think you sort of have to. Yeah, there we go. You listen for this dude's um, instrument, and then you seek him out and battle him, but. I remember there being a much. Yeah. I was like, I remember there being a much bigger chase than this. Like, you don't just find him once and... Once and done. Now, where did he run? Did I... Did he run through that gate again? That doesn't make any sense, but I suppose that's the only place he could have run, because it appears there's not a lot of other places to head off to. Yeah, I remember this is totally this game's version of The Lost Woods. And, oh, and now, where once there was gate, there is gate no more. Dude, these guys, because of the way they move around, it makes my attacks really weird. Alright, 
play your stupid little weird his actually his instruments sound like the Deku pipes from um they sound like the Deku pipes from Majora's Mask which is very interesting instrument for them to sound like I mean I guess technically lore wise the Deku pipes can't just be one instrument that like is always a thing it has to be a, an instrument that is in the world right so of course the Deku pipes exist here because here we need to open up my oh you're not okay I was like why can't I open up a map of this area and now I realize the answer to that question that I can't open a map of this area because they don't want me to have a map oh my gosh this area wasn't here before holy shit these woods are like changing as I run through them that's totally a lost woods kind of thing to do that's so weird I ran through the door that opened up but he just wasn't there but like now I appear to be going to a new location oh man I remember this part of the game being kind of ridiculous okay oh here we go I've managed to I don't know how I did it but I managed to find a new Lost Woods area here by going, so I was over in this area and then I came down to an area that I didn't think was unlocked before, but I must have accidentally gone the right way at some point. So, oh man, I hate these things. They're actually really annoying. So I hear... Nope. The pipes are definitely coming from this direction. Yep. So this has got to be the way to go. I'm See, I don't even want to fight these guys, but they'll just keep on pursuing you. I think that was a bad game choice. Maybe it was to make this area like less boring or something. But seriously, it is quite annoying. All right. So you can see which okay, he goes through that door. But it's hard to identify which door that is and then he heads off that way. Okay. So we'll try to follow him, like, proper initially here, and then see if I can't identify his pipes more quickly this time. Alright, dude, and I seriously, these guys are so fast, but fighting them is just so annoying. Alright, this is the only possible way I can head at the moment. Oh, yep, and there he is. I see him up there, waiting to be tracked by me, and not... Oh, dude. So we gotta go up this way now, even though these things are attacking me, oh my gosh! Like, they're not a good enemy, they're easy to beat, but they're just like, because they just keep throwing them at you, they're just super annoying. Alright, kid. You just give up. Surely you'll give up now. Nope. Oh, now he's so, dude. We're totally making progress now because it's going through the big door. If that's not progress... If the big door is not progress, then I don't know what is. This is like the most important looking door in the whole area because it's made of stone as opposed to just tree shit like all the other doors. Oh, and there he is. All right, boss battle time. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe it's a song time? Maybe he'll teach me a song? Oh, he's surprised. Yep. I found you. What are you going to do now, bitch? You ain't got nothing. Oh, no, he's got something. Boss battle, probably. Oh, that's not a boss battle. I, I'm gonna tell you something, friend. You may not notice, you may not have noticed, but I've actually got your game pretty well figured out. Your enemies aren't too tough to defeat. In fact, I can defeat most of them in a single blow. Oh, oh, he's got, he's gonna try and be tricky and just keep on summoning them. Well, that ain't gonna work, bub. Apparently he thinks it is, okay, dude. We're just going to ignore his mans. Like, who cares about the little dudes he's summoning when I can just go straight for the source? Oh, shit. Maybe he'll keep teleporting unless I beat his mans. No way. Yeah! Okay, I'll beat your... Okay, I'll play your game. I'll beat your mans. I'll beat him all in one fell swoop. Oh, no, because he summoned like six this time. Oh, shit. Come on. There we go. Ooh! Now what? All right. Oh, if you, I get him. You get him while he's summoning the next group of guys, because that's when he's like vulnerable. Yup. Is he gonna summon more than? Oh my gosh. This kid. This kid is a mofo. 
Oh, except for Midna has some sort of hint. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. Like, Midna seems to have some sort of advice for me, but I want to... I mean, can I kill all these guys at once? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's going to murder, like, eight of them. Did that murder all of them at once? Oh, yeah, it totes did. All right, bub. This is it. Ugh! That's... Look, he made a sound. Yep. He can't... Dude, if he can teleport again, I'm going to be so mad. Mm! This kid's a dick. Bye. Oh, my gosh. But when he said bye, that means he's probably gone forever. And by probably, I mean hopefully gone forever because he's a jerk. And that started a cut. A cute scene. Oh, no, it didn't. But it brings me to a new zone. And because wandering around them woods took me a wee bit of time, I feel as though this is actually a pretty decent time to end this episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess in the next episode. Now that I'm actually, it looks like I'm deep within the Sacred Grove, I'll hopefully be retrieving the Master Sword and becoming a human. This has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.